Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We are underweight. Um, oh, I didn't drop any of those. I will. Um, I did drop a bunch of stuff. Our clothing, aside from the socks, is pretty good. We have a bunch of meat. Uh, we do... Oh, look at you. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm happy. Let's fill that. Um, there's what we got. I dropped a hacksaw as well. As well as some cloth and, uh, leather. We are day 80. Look at that. And there is our skills. And we are now mid-morning. Almost. Almost. Midday. So there's a sweater. There's a snow pants I dropped. I dropped you. I dropped both of the bows. There's the leather. There's that food that we had. That we had. And there's the cloth. Um, Billy, did I say hi to you? I don't know. I had a rough start. I'm sorry if I missed saying hello to you. Actually, I guess technically nobody heard me say hello. So, um, no, I didn't say. <laughs> no, hello, Merd. Hello, XM. And hello, Billy. I think that's all of you, right? I think that's all of you. Yeah, I think that is. All right, let's go. Oh, and I dropped one of the stems. I still have three, so. Oh, and... In the in the toolbox, Murd, if you can make a note. Um, I left the arrow shafts, uh, the feathers, and the arrowhead that I had. I figure we got 26 arrows, so we're probably not going to be making any. Or a little bit. Yeah, I went to... Why did I even... Oh, I, I switched my charging dongle from... Or my little charging disc from my other mouse to this mouse. Thanks, Mert. And... I wanted to check what the... What the... Uh, like, how much charge my mouse had. And so I went to open Logitech and it just instantly decided to do an update. I didn't ask it to. It updated against my will. And yeah, it just, I, I've had this happen in the past a couple of times. Usually the updates are okay. But sometimes they just freeze. So you get in a non-stop loop of the, the L circling around and... Uh, in the past, the only way to fix it was basically uninstall Logitech's G-Hub software. And then reinstall it. But when I went to uninstall it, it didn't show it being installed. And when I went to reinstall it, it went back into a never-ending loop. And... Because of all that, it took my microphone out of OBS. And now I'm in a mood. Yeah, we need an Aurora or some Glimmer Fog or a Moose. We can get a Moose up here. I mean, we, we do have an awful lot of food, right? We have seven full kilograms. Yeah. <laughs> you still run G-Hub in the background. You've never had any dramas. You're going to say NIFO and tech. 
I didn't do anything though. That's the thing. That's why when the sound alerts sometimes don't work, I say, you know what? I didn't do anything, so I'm not touching anything. Because I know, I, I know not to mess with anything. Nothing changed from my computer from today to yesterday. But I will say it's kind of distracting having the keyboard flashing all the different colors. I really can't stand that. Especially if, because every once in a while I do actually have to look down to make sure I'm going after the right button. But now they're all the same color. So that's kind of pointless. <laughs> Oh, and some of my, my, like, my WASD, I've already replaced them because I've, like, my fingernails have scraped off the paint. So, the S and the D are the ones that primarily get scratched off. And they're all scratched now, so it's, Wait. like, <laughs> just too big. Warming up a bit. Two, two big, uh, blobs of, of light coming through. All right, well, there wasn't a moose. Um, I don't even know if that moose is the one that would spawn. Um, we're stuck in this boat where we're waiting for an Aurora or... Oh, jeez, you scared the hell out of me, dear. We're stuck needing either an Aurora or Glimmer Fog so we can get into this bunker and finish off the signal void. And as I stated yesterday, I don't want to be on the other side of the map when, when one of those happens. So we're kind of stuck being over here. Uh, and not really having anything to do. I mean, we have a deer right over here. But I do want to check if the deer up ahead is spawned in um there's also we we're gonna first go warm up but there's also the ptarmigan up there we can we don't need them but i mean it gives us something to do right we will do that That's why you turn Aurora's to max, makes waiting for things a little more bearable. Yeah. Well, we can... I don't want to harvest... A wolf. Did I actually even harvest some of him? No, I didn't. Well, it, it's not going to happen right now anyways. First things first. Warm up. If I'm going to spend time harvesting anything, I'd rather it be a, a ptarmigan. Ooh, and there's a sexy sapling over there. Well, we may as well run. We got lots of alertness. break down we can break these down get a little bit of wood while we're warming up okay want to make sure that wasn't something uh, I think we're warming up let's Fill the belly. And... Oh, I do have... 
Well, let's take these curtains. That way we can fill the remainder of our temperature. Um, one thing I don't want to do is leave like, like one half of a curtain. That's why I took the other one too, even though we were fully warm. All right, let's go see. Maybe there's a deer over to the left. Maybe we get lucky in this big, fat, juicy buck. And if not, we'll go look for some time again. I'm not hearing anything so far. Except that woodpecker. Some bunnies up ahead. Not really what I was interested in. Well, time again it is. No buck for you. Nope. gonna turn into a blizzard it wouldn't surprise me at, 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 at all I'll grab the sapling we'll throw it in the cabin after we're done a few more right there thing is I don't even hear any ptarmigan This is where they would be. Nope. Well, I guess back to the cabin and uh, I guess we'll do some repairs on our socks. I think this is about to turn into a blizzard, which sucks because I don't know that you're going to get glimmer fog in a blizzard. I need to find some place to and we need to home. do some kind of activity so we can burn off our alertness or else it's just going to mess up our, our sleep. Little bunny. Eh. We'll leave the bunny alone. All right, uh, socks. Let's get those done up. Oh, I have that book too. What is it, a fire starting book? It is. Let's go see what the weather's doing. Doesn't sound like a like a blizzard happened. Uh one thing I should do. Eat that one and we'll drop all the other ones. Go have a look. Maybe the ptarmigan came back now because it's not snowing. Maybe. I'm going to keep grabbing sticks too. I'm still not hearing or 
I think I would see him by now. Nope. Well. It's pretty warm. I guess let's go after the doe. Provided she's still out. I think maybe we should just go back and read. But we do need to burn off this alertness. All right, where is she? Today's word is timorous. I don't see that though. I think we just might be going back and reading. Before we go in, maybe I will harvest the wolf. We'll just leave the meat. I won't, there's no point in cooking it, but. Um, I mean, we need something to do. Why not get some kind of food out of it, I guess? minutes. Timorous means fear of the unknown or unfamiliar or fear of making decisions. The noise made them timorousness. Timorousness. <laughs> Figure I'll take his guts too. Uh, we'll leave the saplings and the guts and the meat at this cabin. Oh, it was meant to be pronounced timorousness. Yeah, now I see the word. I, I, I only usually glance at the word and then I just go right to the pronunciation. So the word is actually timorousness. That's what it is. I'm gonna drop y'all. Take one of y'all. And... Drop you guys there. I'm gonna take the wood. Oh wow, I can't even see these. All right, that's a little better. At least we can see them. All right, we're just gonna chill out right here. I could make a fire. I'm sure I have enough sticks to just Yo, know, and I have, yeah. You know what? We're getting low on water. We're in a place where we can have a fire. We may as well do it. So we'll be able to read the book for an hour, and then we're going to have 24 minutes. We might just, uh, yeah, let's use sticks. I want to do that. What I want to do, it, it might seem stupid, but I want to get this water on as soon as possible. All right, 129. So we will read. 
for one hour. And now you're at 21. Um, gloves, 25, whatever. Good enough. There we go. We'll do that. Where? There's the bed. Okay. And I guess we'll go right back to reading the book. Will we get the full hour? We did. Now, one thing I don't want to do, you know I hate sleeping an hour at a time. Uh, I mean, I guess we don't really have condition we need to recover. We, uh, we can do that with one birch bark. Let's just go two hours. I would hate for like to put in 10 hours and then find out that it is an Aurora. stick with two hours we actually did gain our condition just in these two hour spurts i didn't think a two hour spurt we would get very much condition back so that actually worked out all right we'll just do that to make sure we don't run dry i could probably just go out and have a look outside to see if there's any possible chance of an aurora but we'll just continue we're gonna wake up right away fully slept fully rested um we'll do that right there finish that off and drink a little bit and i guess go back to reading the book One more hour on it there. There we go. We got some daylight. Have I mentioned I like that perk? Let's throw that there. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right, we want this meat. You know what? What's the worst that can happen? We can attract something to us and actually get something to do. There we go. Don't eat the meat. Doing it purely for scent. Yeah, that perk is like, that's got to be one of the best perks. It eliminates your cabin fever risk. And what is it, 20% faster you get on reading the books? So the five hour books take four hours, 24 hour. Is that book 24 hours, that one? And it's down to 20? Why is this game doing this? It's like, hey, we're gonna make this as boring as possible as we can for you. No auroras, no glimmer fog, because we know you want it. And I'm not gonna take my frustration out on the bunny just because the game doesn't want to cooperate. But we do need to go inside and warm up. It is cold. It is cold. Well, may as well take down the chairs. 
You know, let's use the hatchet and then we'll just sharpen it. I think two hours is kind of ridiculous. I should have done that the first one. I think 98 is good. Uh, we didn't get any tinder plugs out of that good. Don't want none. Yeah, they're just going to burn through our food and water. We can't stay here, though. I mean, I got to move on. Can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. We're going to have to take the risk. Oh, nice. Your kid was watching one of my YouTube videos the other day and was raving to you yesterday after school about my ability to just slaughter wolves with the bow. He thought it might be interesting. Worth mentioning here. Nice. That's, uh, that makes me feel good. Thanks, Billy. You made me smile. Let your little one know. I smiled at their at their comment. Watch the next wolf I encounter I'm gonna get obliterated by. <laughs> Billy Wilson just inflated my ego. I'm gonna go in all cocky and pow, I'm gonna miss. <laughs> Nice, Billy. I appreciate it. There's that doe. Those are so unfun. <laughs> like, even with the ability to crouch, I mean, you still have to be a fair ways away. You can always do this little trick. It's not really my gig, but I, I, several people have said that this does actually work. To get you there closer while still remaining in cover. Whoops. <laughs> I missed the button. Where are ya? Come on, little doe. Wherefore art thou doe? This is almost cheating. Literally, like with, with archery five. Oh, look what we got. You just didn't get your life saved <laughs> and of course you're gonna run that way I'm not even gonna look I don't care let's go this way while our footprints are still here well are they yeah there they are I can't feel my hands hey cherry lum welcome in how are you doing? You missed the exciting stuff where we were waiting for glimmer fog. <laughs> Poor doe. Or us, too. I should not have shot the doe, because you know what? I don't really feel like going and looking for it. Once we get this done, I want to just carry on. But now we have to go look for the doe, because I hit it, and I want my arrow back. Freezing. And I think it's a jerk move to shoot. Even in, a, even in a video game, it's a jerk move to shoot the animal and just let it go to waste.
So we will have to kind of, kind of go and look for it. There she be, right here. I like that it actually puts the radio away. Because I was just thinking to myself, as soon as I get a chance, I'm putting that away. That's annoying. <laughs> but they do it for you. Hello, cloth. Bunker Omega. Yeah, let's use this. favorite bunker <laughs> that big old bunker we don't need you that's not gonna work because glimmer fog does not power the radios it's just actually kind of sad but I get it Wow someone's having ham tonight That's all of that stuff. We got the holster. Oh, I should leave this to the last part. This bunker is so easy, it completely stumps Nafo. It's not easy. Keep my thoughts about that hideous jersey to myself. Right, you guys are nothing. Lots of tea. There's something on the floor I think that's effect. Oh, maybe it's not really anymore. Okay. I thought it was kind of bumping me in a different position. Hello. Keep that one for now, I guess. Um, I guess we'll also keep the, the green balaclava. We'll just keep that as a backup. Um, yeah, do I want to break down? I mean, it's it's kind of my thing, right? I kind of have to break these things down. Because I'm just going to use the knife. Aha! Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to break down all these curtains and then we'll break out the light and have a better look. Just to make sure we're not missing anything. Wow, our knife is taking a beating. Now we look to see if anything else has appeared. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Alright.
Oh. <laughs> uh, there's that sense of direction, eh? Alright, you I really don't actually care about. We have so much cloth and we have extra socks that are actually good. This will come uh, Won't hurt us to take those. How's our water doing at this point? Five and a half. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Take all that. Uh, was that book? That's cooking, okay. Do that. Now it says it's completed. Oh boy. So much food. Not gonna complain about it though, but oh wow, is there a lot of food in here? I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Okay, I think we got everything. Oh boy, another pot. And this is where we were earlier. Oh, I missed the tea. Let's take that. Uh, that's just scrap metal basically to us, so we don't really care a whole lot about it. You thought the matches by the toilet were a guaranteed spawn, and yet didn't see them. I, ah. I don't want the flashlight. Um, I don't even want to use it. Isn't there? Yeah. I thought there was. We are heavy. Heavy. We got a bunch of lantern fuel. That's uh, why I'm not really terribly concerned about having our lantern lit for this. Um, obviously, when we read the, the books, I will shut it off, but... Ah, it's my log. <laughs> Anything over here? I don't think so, eh? Okay. Once we grab everything, we'll kind of have a look and see what we can drop. Here's some matches. We don't need them, but we got them. Some more. Some rifle bullets. And nothing in there. Alright, let's read. Good old number 29. Look at it. I love it. Whatever happened here, it's not a virus or any known pathogen. At least that's what the doctor tells me. There are no visible injuries, only invisible ones. My symptoms have just started, but they track what the others have gone through. Things are starting to get fuzzy. Just like with them. Faces I can't remember. Like an old photo. Blurry around the edges. Crumbling. The few men left up here can't be trusted to care for themselves. We've had to lock them in their quarters to keep them from wandering off. 
We tried going a different way, more psychological. We had a little luck at first, and then it all collapsed again. Rudiger hasn't been back to see us since we took the machine offline. <laughs> I'm struggling myself, and holding out for the resupply he promised. Will it get here in time? I've changed, somehow. The men, the medical officer, all of us. But not him. Not Rudiger. He'll want the research. It shows some bizarre benefits, even if it's come at a price. Rudiger found what he was looking for. <laughs> he can keep it. All right, there we go. Let's uh, eat some. Oh, let's drink some. I guess I might be able to get both of these. There we go, and we'll just eat these. Let's continue this way, I guess. More cloth that we don't really need. Hope nobody needs this. Other anymore. stem. Don't need that, but I'm not gonna complain. Because you never know. Alright, what else do we have? Gunpowder, no. Hey, Copper! Welcome in. How you doing? Oh, <laughs> three liters. I don't know that I wanted that. And another hacksaw. Uh, a whetstone. I think everything there has been checked. Alright, let's uh, put that away. And here we go. Entry 17, Project Medical Officer. We have attempted various psychological interventions with the team members. Interviews reveal that the deeper the recall exercise, the greater the distortion. Consolidation failures appear in each patient, no matter the subject content. So far, these have yielded little actionable data. We do, however, hold out hope for a treatment strategy to apply away from their work environment. Proximity to the site of exposure is my last best guess. Behavioral changes are becoming more alarming. I will be including the following transcript excerpt in my summary report to be followed with project leads before team extraction, should it occur. We're almost finished. Please stay calm. Where has your mind settled then? Focus on the last image, please. We just want to get out to burn it all down. <laughs> or did we? <laughs> I had it there, but I lost it again. I, ca I can't remember what it was. He said he'd stand with us if something went wrong. What, what did we do? What did they make us do? They can't get away with this. End recording. All right, there we go. Signal void is complete. Uh, now, did I hit every room? Is the question. Hmm. 
No, you haven't been to all the rooms. Look at us. <laughs> We're only a wee bit overweight. This is how fast you are when you pick up a battery. Right, we came out of there. Um, let's just work our way to the doorway. We can, uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is, maybe this isn't the doorway. Uh, let's actually just have a quick look if there's anything. Oh, well, I don't need that, but I have it. Um, all right, we don't need you for sure. Don't need that thing. And everything else in there is kind of, and we don't ever throw away food. We're going to drop that. And we're going to harvest. Oh, wait, don't drop that and then harvest. Ooh. Harvest this, so the fuel goes into the jerry can. There we go. And then we drop that. And we refuel, so we take from the small containers. Um, we're, we're, it's, it's a little better. A little bit of food, I guess. Little bit of water. Um, yeah, a lot of this is gonna end up in the uh, in the sled. What? Did it really? No, that doesn't fill that. Oh. When you break down a lantern, it just makes small ones if you drop that. But if you pick this up, it just, does it not just fill it into that? Or does it actually fill these little ones? I didn't know the little ones could be filled. All right, this is obviously the room I haven't been in because I see some pills right there. Uh, we'll see, I may or may not take that. This oh. stuff will come in handy. Well, hello. One point three. Wow, I yeah, I never knew that. I thought the jerry can was the only thing that that the fuel would go into and then the others it would just make uh more small container oh they're both at a hundred uh what's our well we're not gonna lose that much weight or gain that much i guess all right let's go in here we i don't think we've been in here either <laughs> of course. Stump remover, we don't. I don't. Hmm. Yeah, okay, well. 
I think I'd really have to leave that. Oh, look, the fake wall for the other story. What are you talking about? Is that going to open up? back this way I guess you've already forgot yes I have <laughs> I have forgot when does that open oh is that when at the very end obviously All right, this is where we gotta go I don't think I uh, put two and two together before and, and realized that we were coming into this place. I did not know that. But I guess maybe I should pay more attention. <laughs> You know what? We got enough time. We can make it. Oh, I didn't see that. We can uh, load up the sled and make it over to the... Uh, I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. That place over there. Just got to get to some... Will it let us... All right. I see your stretch there, Merg. Just bear with me for a minute. Throw all of you. Uh, why is it on that tab? You can go in. You, you. We're not wearing you yet. Food. You know what? Water can go in. I think we're all right at this point. 38 cloth here. You know what? Do that. Yeah. All right. Murder wants a stretch. Let's see if I can pull this off without getting us stuck. Or lost. There we go. Thanks, Mark. The sun is setting. It's be a lot colder soon. I think it's a little over here. There it is. Is it going to go from uh, glimmer fog right to an aurora? Right, let's drop that. Uh, Let's just do that. Well, it's all cut. I guess everything's got to come, right? It's all got to get into my pocket. Yeah, we got, we went from Glimmer Fog right to an Aurora. Both of the things that we needed. Hey, OG. Welcome in, bud. How you doing? All 
Alright, we're gonna fill up some of this box here with some of the items that we don't really care too much about. Um... Thing is, what are some of the things we don't care about? That can stay. You can stay. Those can stay. One of you. Am I am I a fool for carrying these things around? Am I? I kind of, you know, what we can come back one day and and pick those up. I guess. Uh, we don't obviously need food or water. We are good on both. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we can get a repair. Uh, first one is you. I can barely walk with this much gear. There we go. So that one we can now wear. Uh, let me think. One nine thirty and third. All right. So, do you guys now swap these out? Oh, you can. Oh, oh you go there. Oh. Well, let me ask the. What's the question? What's the part? What's the purpose of this? It's not better. If you can only wear it on the inside, its stats don't matter, right? Well, I guess it's like 0 0.5, 0 0.05 lighter. I guess, I guess. All right, let's just see. I don't know. If there is an Aurora, we should get these repaired, yes. Hey, mending four and play that funky music. Drop these. We don't need these. Uh, the books. I'm going to keep one. And you know what? I'm going to leave one of those. I'm going to take two. I'm going to use one the next time we make the fire. Um. Uh, I think I can... 64, we can get a repair on that. There we go. Um, 65 is fine. I think it's bedtime, honestly. So I'll eat any of the dry stuff. Just because they're small. And I don't like putting them on the floor. I prefer to move the cans around and such. I'll just fill the belly right up. Eh, I should have drank that soda. We'll drink it in the morning. There we go. soda there and that's the only one we had right all right let's start with the cans oh you're not gonna finish oh no I don't like that when it doesn't finish All right, we have time to kill. We have a whole bunch of cloth. Uh, let's repair some of the things that we're wearing. And you'll go up by zero 0.3, so, or I guess 0.3. 
There we go. And we can probably leave some of the cloth in here. Uh, do that. Uh, the extra pot. I don't know that I want to leave a pot here. So we're going to leave all those. We're going to leave these saplings. That's been red. Let's go. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Uh, we'll leave all that meat as we have a bunch. All right, this is this is going to be possibly not smart cuz look at the weather. But Throw all those in there. Uh, throw you and you and you. Oh, that's you know what? I'll throw those. There we go. Uh, and you. All right, we're light now. What else? All right, that's fine. Let's go. I think we're going to head back. Uh, to the hangar. No, I'm not throwing food into the sled. I don't like doing that. I did that one time when I had ruined coffee on me. I got into the food tab and I selected the uh, the the throw everything button. Not thinking, and yeah, my coffee went bye bye. <laughs> but yeah, food in general, I I don't really like to throw in there. It's perfectly safe if it's got a decent amount of. Uh, of condition on it, but come to think of it, you know what? Why stink when we don't have to? I could just do this. I mean, you're good, you're good. Let's do that. So yeah, we're going to go back to the hangar. We'll drop a bunch of this stuff off. Um, again, I mean, remember I said I was going to try and use different bases or outposts. Here, I don't know. I mean, you can pick any one of those buildings at the airport. Um, I don't know that anybody would really pick either the cabins, that one or the one way out there. They're just too far out of the way. Sometimes you're stuck with the same building. Because it just makes so much more sense than than walking across the other side of the map. So. And with the glimmer fog in this region, that's the only basement we have, right? So I'm just going to stick with the, uh, with the hangar. You love the island cabin. You use that all the time. Yeah, but what, that's not like your main outpost. 
So like when you come here, I guess for, for you though, you're always you got a whole bunch of stuff on you, so you're prepared, but for, for the way I play, I, I need my outpost to be somewhere close to the entrance as opposed to being on the exact furthest side of the map. But what we're going to do, we'll go over to uh, the hangar and hopefully if the weather clears up, it'll go, we'll go that way. Is that a big fat juicy boy? Oh, it is a big fat juicy boy. He's lucky we have a whole bunch of bear meat. We don't need anything from him. Oh, dang, I forgot. We should actually not go around that way. We should go back the way we just came. As much as I don't want to do that. And we can look for that dough. I think if we go around the other way, by the time we get to wherever that dough might be, that dough would have probably despawned. So yeah, but we need clear weather. I mean, we can't have this type of weather. Pretty rare to get a nice clear day out here, but I can still ask for it. Yeah, see all your cabins out here are fully stocked so you it's 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 hard to really say that that one is your your outpost if you have all of them fully stocked i think <laughs> i think i don't know but i think Yeah, I know, clear and, clear and good weather here is just a dream. Right, you go there. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. All right, what can get dropped? Um, I'm going to have to move. I don't like moving my jerry can so I kind of like them being right at the door so that when I come in I see them uh, I'm gonna pick these up and I guess maybe I'm gonna try and put them all down here uh, we'll go A to Z I guess Your breath out of the way, Astrid. Let's see. All right, there's you. Oh, the ham actually went nice for a change. A lot of the buildings, when you drop the ham, it's like sideways and it bothers me. I kind of wish dropping items would... I wish dropped items would face the direction you're facing. That's what I wish. Because then everything would be so much easier, so much nicer. Uh, did I have flares? No, I didn't. Memory. 
You can go there. Alright. Um, the pot. Actually, I'm going to take the pot. We're not going to take you. I'm going to leave one of you. Uh, you're, a, I'm going to, I might try a repair. Just to get rid of that. All right. Matches. This is a new thing for me. I don't normally put matches on the floor. But in here, they're, they're pretty visible. I'm not terribly worried. Pick all those up so I can throw them. Where are they? They're there. Alright, that's gotta be right there. Alright, I picked up the bows so I can drop them right here. There we go. And what else? Lantern fuel, I guess. We can leave that here. Move it up here. There we go. I can drop half of that water. You know if I drop the water, I'm going to run out. No, I'm kidding. I will drop it. Um, you can go there. How much water do we have? Eh, I can drop a little bit of water. What's our weight anyway? 46. We're barely. Um, I'm taking one of these because I'm going to leave it at one of the other cabins. Um, I can probably leave all this coffee too. Doesn't weigh a lot, but I guess it does add up, right? This will be definitely something we are definitely taking. Definitely something we're definitely taking. Good English, kid. We can drop those because we have a whole bunch of cups already made. And we have another box. Okay, everything in there we're going to take. Uh, I think we'll take everything there, except, uh, not like it weighs anything, but since, here we go. There we go. All right, let's, uh, let's head out. Drop those. Eat up, drink. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm banking on finding that deer. That's why we're not taking more meat. And I kind of don't like leaving from this side. Usually I leave out the back and go that way. So let's go. We got a doe to find. We need the weather to clear up so we can hopefully get some crows and be able to actually see them. Oh, 
But we also need the weather to clear up so we can actually see where we're going. So easy. There's just so much nothing out there. There's that big old buck out there. That is not the doe we're looking for. The one we're looking for is probably already laying on the ground with an arrow sticking out of her. Yes. Wow, my footprints are still here. Wow. How far will she go? Will she go far enough that a wolf might take her out? Because that would be pretty cool. She knows where she is and she knows. She's like, hey, if I just keep him coming out this way, he's going to get himself lost. <laughs> Who's actually luring who? Wow, Murd, you're busy today. A lot of spammers today. as well I figured this was a bit yeah, about as far as she'd go but she's still kind of going I think now that's about it right. periodically we'll stop and listen if we hear crows I think the crows are out it's just we can't see them but if we can hear them, they might guide us to the doe that we're actually looking for. I did not tell you that. <laughs> Let me be lazy. Wow, my footprints are still up here. Like, wow. That is not a complaint. That's actually amazing. Usually those things like 20 feet behind you and they're gone, right? But in this game, sometimes they're there for a while. Sometimes. Sometimes they're not. When you desperately need them, no. <laughs> The go away. I do not like traveling in this weather. I also don't hear any, any crows anywhere. gonna continue going in this direction I guess I think I hear crows this way is it a deer if the music would hush Are you 
a doe. Oh, you are my doe. Thank you. I'm gonna leave the feathers. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna use that. I said I would, but I'm not. I can't. I can't just waste one. Come on, little fire. That accelerants for when like we're desperate. That'll work. Oh, okay, there we go. Am I warming? I am. right hey that's not what I wanted this is gonna be a pain in the butt right, we got 32 minutes where's your hitbox is nowhere near your body I'm taking 6.5. You know why? Because what if there's a skillet? What if there's some flour? And what if there's some oil? In one of these cabins. There's got to be, right? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Uh, you guys need to get out of the way kindly. Your time has passed. Uh, where's that point 0.5? I don't want to cook that one. What the hell? We'll take the guts too. Is a fire. Well, we might as well just chill out here for a little bit. Uh, I'm leaving the feathers just because I don't know why. All right, what can we do? Uh, we have two of these. Oh, dang it. I should have left these. Whatever. We'll leave them at a cabin. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. I was supposed to drop those. And those. And you... Didn't I drop them all? Apparently, I didn't. And you... One point seven five kilograms worth of clothing that we are not wearing, but we are carrying. All right, we can just go back. I'm kidding. <laughs> Nineteen minutes. I think. Would that mean that I cooked all of it? Except for that point five. It does. I'm not sure I can carry much more. It does. Um hey look at that. It's actually I believe this is clearing up. It's good, it's good. Do that and let's do that just for a warm drink. 
<laughs> the amount of times you've heard I'm leading the feathers and then I go and pick them up. I know. I know. I I think I want to leave them just kind of as a as a memory to the deer. But at the same time, I have a fire here now, though. I'm going to know. Like, what I was wanting was just kind of like a random spot and just see a bunch of feathers. But if there's a fire pit there, it's not really a random spot. All right, we don't have to worry about the bear. Uh, but... Oh, look at you. 29. We will do that and that. How do you like me now, though? I left them. I left them. Okay, we've been to that helicopter. What do we have for... Uh, we still have three... I'm not going to gather any mushrooms. Uh, we do need to get to the, the island hut, though. Oh, there's also the cave. The island hut is easiest to find from the lake. It's also a place where there was a bunch of wolves and the lake is flat. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to the lake. Um, we should with three bars of scent have no issues gathering all these wolves. And by the time we get to that cabin, it'll probably be nighttime. And in the morning, then we can go back behind and go up to that cave. I think we found an expedition parker there the one time. So it's definitely a place you do not want to miss. And who knows? Maybe there's a big old fat moose. Darth. If Darth shows up today, I did make him a command for his cattails. It is command CT. Or I guess exclamation mark. I should probably... Yeah. See? I, I'm also open to suggestions as to how can we make that like a, a lengthy, like what, what should we put? So that when he opens it up, it's just like BAM. Oh, this is the bear cave already? Wow. I thought there was another cave. Oh, that's a little further, isn't it? Obviously. <laughs> now are we gonna have a moose? Oh, I love going to the cabin this way now. I was always, every time we went to the cabin, I'd be so nervous about, oh no. Especially if it turns night or something, but. Now I just, I, I just know. It's actually on the other side of that.
Over there is where we experienced the death. One time. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Do I have any rocks? No. Why would I? Hey, yo, over here. There you go. There you go. Why? What made him stop in his tracks? That was dirty, Mert. Mert's trying to get us killed. Alright. Come here, you stupid wolf. No stopping in your tracks. I broke an arrow. Yeah, you scared the wolf with that cougar. There we go. There we go. That's the last second shot. <laughs> always double check yeah the wolf heard the cougar earlier I was like nope I don't deal with kitties bunch of deer and it looks like a wolf Maybe we get lucky. Maybe. That horned one will run. That away. Oh no, that's actually a deer. Oh, I thought that one in the background was a, another wolf. Whatever. Uh... Somewhere in there is where the little cave is. If Pilgrim's the first setting, the first difficulty, yeah, everything will run away from you. That's, that's kind of one of the fun parts of... Uh, that that mode is uh trying to hunt <laughs> everything's a far shot because i think it goes pilgrim and then voyager and then stalker right and then interloper and i don't count misery Yeah, that sounds like that's what it is. Uh, in in that in pilgrim setting, everything will will just run. Where are you? Oh well. Be free. I'm gonna do this if she comes back. <laughs> All right. We have Archie's crawl space. Is there not place in here that you can go through or is it just this? It's not really a crawl space. We have a roll frozen wolf. Yeah, I don't know why. Last time and even now, I'm, I was thinking that like you come in here and there's a spot where you can go even further. But I don't believe there is. All right, we're warming up, so let's take a second to eat some food. And another second to drink some water. 
and then there we go and we'll go what's the time it's almost night time And yes, I am a little nervous about carrying that raw meat. Um, I do think we will find a skillet and some flour and some oil. Um, but what I'm really, 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 really hoping is that at no point when I'm about to eat a piece of cooked meat, at no point does my inventory shift. I don't think it should shift while you're in it if that in fact is what is happening because I do use it on the condition but when it's at one condition and something else is at a at the exact same condition they shouldn't be swapping positions there we go saplings got ourselves some saplings no, it didn't, but I'm just paranoid that it will. Uh, normally, if it does do that little shift, uh, the worst thing that can happen usually is that, oh, okay, I drank my tea instead of eating the meat that I was about to eat. But when you have raw meat, there's always that possibility if it does that shift, Maybe it goes to the meat and <laughs> now you got issues, right? Where's the moose? I don't see the moose. Ah, I see the moose right there. Oh, he's coming this way. I'm gonna aim real high. Oh, dude, I hit him. <laughs> I saw the splatter. That was a hit. <laughs> I should have aimed for the head. That probably would have dropped him. I was just happy to hit him, though. Can I pull off another long one? Oh, that was real close. That didn't hit, though. Wow, I can't believe I hit him. And now where's my arrow? I'm, I'm borderline hoping... Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping I didn't find my arrow because then I could pretend that I hit him a second time, but I did... I do think that that second shot was did short. I, I hate being cold because I really do. Is that... No... I think I'm gonna grab my arrow and we're gonna go over there and make a fire and... kind of warm ourselves up. I do have to let them get closer. I don't want to keep taking these long, 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 long shots. That are very unlikely to hit. I was pretty close on that though. Can we get a fire? Oh, you clipped it, Copper. Nice. This is so cold. Thanks. I just want to lay down for a bit. Uh, can we go right here? Good. Is this going to be a good spot? I don't know, man. This wind can turn real quick. This is why I didn't use the accelerant earlier. Perfect. 
There we go. Now we wait. Come on, little moose. I guess when I have this, I can only, you know, if I... Oh. There we go. Now we're not carrying raw. We do still have scent. I gotta kind of watch. I mean, wolves can come from that way too, right? This should be a thing. Cook the guts. This guy's gonna take his time, but that's okay. We got time. Uh, what else do we have aside from a bunch of clothing that we don't need? Oh man, I can't believe that. I cannot believe I did that. You think you should be able to use the guts as sausage casings? That would be interesting. Come on, moose. You're not exactly where I want you. That was a hit. That one hit. No arrow. Now the problem is it pushed him further away. Um, I don't want him out here because it's just... You saw what kind of issues we had. I want him somewhere by the rocks. No, that one we don't need one. The other one was uh, quite surprising. I, I didn't think I would hit the other shot. This one I had a kind of an idea that I could probably hit him. Well, let's uh, do that so we can get some more temperature. Feels like night is coming. How long is this fire? 59. Oh, hey, look, 29 sticks. I didn't even plan that. Okay, I did that so we can do this. He's still out there. He can't be. We just passed like an hour. They do move when you pass time, right? I better pick that up so that... Uh, I don't know if I want to be taking shots at them, especially when all these stupid alerts are showing up in the middle of my screen. Hey, Mr. Coach, welcome in. How you doing, Coach? All right, please stop. I'm trying to get in front of you. I don't want to hit him here, though. It's too wide open. Oh, that was short. That's three hits. Tired. Okay. 
Uh, over here might be not too bad. It's, I mean, it's a little closer. I think that was a miss. That's okay though. That's okay. As long as, I mean, if I can get them closer to those rocks, it's even better, right? Got a moose, will you do the fandango? Elephant down. All right, we'll come and deal with him later. There's that one that missed. And three in him. Let's go back. There we go, we got ourselves a moose. The moose is no longer loose. No, he isn't. I still don't know if he's close enough to those rocks for it to allow us to use the, the rocks as a wind block or anything, but it's better than being way out in the middle here. Exhausted at this point, and it's bedtime. I'm gonna lay down and have a little sleep right here. Astrid's being dramatic as usual. I'll take that. Uh, I think we're, I think we're warm enough. We're just going around this corner, right? Oh yeah. This is where all of a sudden you notice like, oh wait, this isn't. Yeah, I see the stairs. And then you're like, wait, where? Where? <laughs> that one foggy day, or was it fog or a blizzard and I couldn't find this spot? Wow. Panic. Yeah, look at all the stars. You know what I don't see? A moose. Uh -huh. Um, I don't think this boat has anything, so I'm not going to look. Uh, we might look in the morning. This is a cool little area. I mean, if, if there was a nice way of getting the moose into this little area, that would be pretty cool. All right, well, I'm gonna turn the light on for this. I thought it was a piece of coal when we were down there. It looked a little bigger. Do you actually add warmth? No, you don't. So let's just do that. <laughs> I 
Bird gets so distressed when he spells when he spells a word wrong. How do you think I feel though? I'm not. I mean, I, I usually don't spell them wrong, but I pronounce them wrong. So I kind of spell them wrong with my mouth. Let's put you away. I can't run. Alright, we'll check that out in the morning too. Let's just get in. It's it's past bedtime. Um, we'll loot the cabin in the morning as well. We're basically just going to shut that door. And we're going to go... Oh, actually, before I forget... We're going to do that. We'll do that. And eat up. All right. So I think uh, if I can find the actual bed. Oh, okay. There's the bed. I think I'll end this here. So for those of you on YouTube, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow.